Oh, okay. All right. And then for that's just the weirdest thing. I do not know why it keeps freezing like that. I never did that earlier. It has something to do with me recording. Mm. Oh well. Looks anyway, like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Now we're gonna look around and view things. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. I suppose so. There's very little in here of interest, actually. Dr. Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? No. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. No, I'm not done exploring in here. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. I'm still covered in blood. What you got there, Carly? You're a good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. A reporter? I don't like paparazzi. I don't like you sensationalist journalists playing off the stupidity of people. I mean, I do like playing off the stupidity of people, to get me wrong, because people are idiots. So, you know, if you can convince them to do things, it's great and all, but the thing is, I'm a person, and so when I see your stories and I read them and I think, ah, oh, ah, oh, you wrote that just to make people like you in order to believe you. Yeah. I'm kind of rambling. What I just said really didn't make any sense to anyone but me. Anyway, I don't like you, Carly. That's the moral of the story here. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. Okay. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Some people, uh, some people actually are better as zombies. I can think of several people like that, <laughs> probably myself included. <laughs> nah. Ah, what what is that thing there? Messing around with there. A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Well, I doubt the radio stations are still, you know, functional. You can't exactly turn on to a uh, favorite pop station. I think she's already tried turning it on, but all right. Yeah. Nothing. Does it have batteries? Man, you are just a... What now? You are an awesome mechanic. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. A battery? You don't know what batteries look like? Really, lady? I mean, they're kind of extremely common. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Hmm. Why? These people look somewhat familiar. Hmm. Battery number one. We oh, they're gonna copy me. I know, hon. You do know what happens to children in horror games, right? They always die. I mean, always. So, your son is doomed. He, he is going to die at some very emotionally pivotal moment. What's going on over here? I don't remember them very well. That's right, they're his parents. This pharmacy them. was owned by Door his danced. parents. Ah, uh, you know, I could talk to Kenny, but, um, you so know, I could also smash my foot with a hammer. That might be more fun. Oh, fine. Don't even come over here. Get okay. Me? No catch. This son of a bitch would have let that man feed our son to the wolves. Yes, Stop correct. That, Kenny. We were all frightened. Even I thought that maybe... Maybe we were going to lose our boy. Unfortunately, you Sorry, didn't. What I hate that piece he... of crap. It's okay, Lee. From here on out, Lee, I need to know that you're on my side. You're not. It's not that simple. Fine, forget it then. Screw Kenny, you, man. Lee's a good man. No, I'm not. We're all still strangers here. <sighs> yeah, at the right at the beginning of the game, anyway, he's in a cop car. There is a reason for that. <laughs> this Lee fellow, he is, uh, he's not so nice. Yeah, I don't really like you, people. 
You got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? Yeah. I panicked, you know. You did. I'm not proud of it. You sissy. You let that kid die. You let that boy die. I know, man. I know. What would it have taken? You free duck, you clear your head, and we get that tractor off his leg. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. Yep. Well, now you can see it for the rest of your life. Good. You should. We need to be able to count on one another. You get to live the rest of your life knowing that you're the reason he died. Your selfish idiocy caused a perfectly fine young man to die. Get some rest, huh? But it's okay, because your idiot son is still there. alive. And that's all that matters, right? Your son is more important than everyone else's son. You self-centered hunk of crap. I'm sorry, I don't like Kenny. I don't like Kenny at all. <laughs> I kind of like Larry, though. He's supposed to be really, really mean and nasty. We're not supposed to, I'm not supposed to like him, but I find his assertiveness to be comforting. He, um... He knows what he wants to do, and he does it. And he does not let anybody... This place didn't get looted. Uh, ...tell him that he cannot do something once he's decided to do it. Hey there. Hi. Oh yeah, she's the other walkie-talkie, that's right. Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Probably not. Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. I mean, I highly doubt he... ...lived through that. Can Did you ever actually uh, pee? Get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Hungry? Please. I don't want to get to know you. you we'll sit tight. Eight-year-old, you have nothing okay. interesting to say. You've never killed a man. You your, your life is boring. And no, you can't have any food, you little the greedy eight-year-old. I can make a Left 4 Dead 2 reference, you know, with pills here, but no. Ooh, hey, I could... I could give Lily a candy bar. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Yes, I like Thanks. your father. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. I don't want to be sweet, I just want to help the people that I like. And screw up the people I don't like. How's he doing? Because I'm, I'm sure selfish too. <laughs> it's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Hello, Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And you could kill him. You should know, I didn't think he was in the right. You didn't say anything. And Duck could have been bitten. Yeah, sure. man. I guess. Side with Larry. Anyway, uh, yeah, is he having a heart infarcation? Because that's a What's problem. Wrong with him? Infarcation. A Ooh, that's a fun word. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. Nitroglycerin. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. That's a liability. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's going to die because of that, obviously. He has quite the temper, I must say. Yes. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is a he good is. guy. He just has his issues. He means well. And he's very Where's assertive. Where's mom? Savannah, I think. Well, she oh, probably choked on her own intestines. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. Obviously. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. No, I wouldn't be so sure. Well, I mean, I guess I could give her a gun or something. You know, why not? Give an eight-year-old a gun. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Uh, I don't really care about where you're from. What's what your take on this whole situation? This? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. It happens. I mean, Jesus. We need yes, to stick actually, that is... That, that, that is somewhat similar to Jesus. You're right. I don't really care where you were born. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. 
What are you, what, what are you gonna do? Stare at him? Occasionally poke him? That, that's actually exactly what you're doing. You see, Lee knows that back there was the private area of the owners. The owners being his parents. Ah, that Clementine, following you around everywhere like a little leech. Can you just sit down and be quiet, you I can't, runt? I can't think about them in here. Well, she's been quiet at least. You see, no, no eight-year-old actually acts like that. Eight-year-olds normally just run around and scream and ignore what you tell them to do. And because no one ever punishes children anymore, they just are allowed to be annoying little this brats, and they grow up and... <sighs> and they murder people when they're older. How you doing? Okay. Yeah, whatever. Well, that's probably how you get into the, uh, the, 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 blah, blah, blah. the area with the pills. Now, why is there a pallet in here? What good would a pallet possibly do? You could kill someone with that thing. What's that? It's this a didgeridoo. Is cane. Oh. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. He'd zip around was on a he cane? Sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I didn't ask where you got your hat. That little comment was unnecessary. Oh. Well, considering the amount of blood on the floor, I highly doubt anyone. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Well, uh, clearly, somebody died. Because there was a zombie in the bathroom, I would imagine that that was one of the owners. The other owners are probably walking around the street right now. There's a photo over there. Yes, correct. There's a photo. A photograph. Is that you? On the left there? Yeah, I think it is. Man, that you are excellent at tearing things. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Okay. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who is sleeping with your wife. Oh, this hey. is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, Shh. but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Uh-oh. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. I could kill you. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Not that I recall, no. no. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Okay. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Yeah, I killed somebody, so what? We've all killed people now. You know, whatever. You fired a bullet into somebody's head. I mean, sure he was a zombie, but he was still a guy. Um, I'm not sure what any of these options really even mean. I, I do trust her, somewhat, I guess. Yeah, I'll just Thanks. stick with that one. Don't worry about it. Anyway, back to what I was doing before I was so rudely interrupted. Better not go out there. Why not? Could be fun. Anyway, let's go see what's in the first aid kit. Probably something pretty useful. I don't I don't want to look at your crotch, Lee. Okay. 
Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Ah, a first aid kit. Useless. Absolutely useless. Why on earth would anyone ever get a first aid kit? How to clear a path to opening that door. Jeez. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <laughs> yes. You don't need anything, right? Do I need to change you your don't diaper? Need anything, right? I mean, really, with children, it's always the Sims no, for me. I get hungry a lot. Yeah, that's okay, called being alive, kid. Know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Poison ivy, no kid mosquito kind of saliva. Allergies or asthma or just general maladies. Ooh, that's a fun word, maladies. My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. But you're cool. That's a that's a crappy allergy to have. I think so. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? Well, now I have one. You don't have a family? Not anymore. <laughs> they died. Let's just move this thing. I hate small talk. Oh. Okay. You speak I'm because sorry. you have something to say. It's fine. Not because you want to hear your head rattle. All right. Not to comfort that. yourself or create some sort of social situation which you find preferable. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Well, they want to eat me now. They're dead. Because they're dead. Well, oh, to be honest, I'm sorry. he doesn't necessarily know, know that. I'm but just sorry for being mean. You weren't being mean, you were being stupid. I just wish things would have been different. It's okay. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy. Um, yeah. Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. You really shouldn't Ow! tell the truth to a uh, an eight-year-old. Okay? I hurt my finger. Or anyone for that matter, because they tend to just be blabbermouths and report it to everyone. I'll People are terrible at keeping secrets. Hmm, a bandage? Where am I? I find a Oh, yeah, first aid kit. You're really gonna waste a bandage on a splinter? Really? Here's what you do when your kid is a splinter. Suck it up, you baby. Let's have a look at that Give it finger. ten minutes. It'll stop bleeding. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. When it starts puffing up and growing mushrooms on it, then, then we'll talk about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Well, that was fast. Now rip it off really quickly, just to be mean. <laughs> Lee? What? Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They won't. I don't think they will. They're dead. Say they it like it is, man. Say it like it is. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Wait, wait, wait. You have your walkie-talkie, and Glenn has the other walkie-talkie. How would your parents possibly get... I mean... Oh, hey! Hey, you random guy! Siphoning gas from that car. You wouldn't happen to have my daughter's walkie-talkie. Well, yes, yes I do. How did you know that? Well, I'm just, you know, lucky that way and can easily randomly pick strangers. <sighs> That's a stupid hope, kid. Get the remote for that thing in here someplace. I highly doubt the television is functional. And there's a remote right there. Take it. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Yes, that is correct. Astute observation. Anyway, can I take the uh, the cane? No, it's probably locked. Yeah. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Hmm. Let's watch TV. Shock of shocks. What I Why don't you take the batteries out of the remote, though? And 
now we got. told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. Well, maybe it's one of those magical remote controls that doesn't have batteries. It's like, ah, uh, it's like in a restaurant. When there's a power outage, people will call the restaurant and say, do you have power? No, ma'am, I'm speaking on a magical telephone that does not require electricity. Yes, we have power, you moron. <sighs> have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Yep, he probably died. And now we okay. lost a walkie-talkie. Anyway, let's uh let's go outside. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I uh Well, I mean why are you asking me that. I killed a guy. That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Say it like it is. Oh, Say it like it is. Was he bad? He was. Hmm. Awkward music restart. That's fine. Oh, oh, I, oh, I see you there, battery. Okay, Carly. Magical repair man is going to fix your radio with his This battery should fit the radio. Batteries. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hey there. This is Glenn. Oh what, you're not and, dead? Uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Oh, how surprising. Uh, girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. So why didn't you just, you know, walk quickly What's up? away? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Seriously. I'll hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. You don't even do have you to run. I think Doug's not great you can just zombies. You can quickly shuffle. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. You're being useful, Carly. Stop making me like you. Well, I am actively trying to kill Duck and Kenny. I guess I shouldn't actively try and kill you too. Uh, candy bar, freaking mine. You can't have it. It's still not working. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Wait, it still doesn't work after you put in the radio? After you put in the uh, batteries? Did you try extending the antenna? Yeah, there you go. Has batteries, we know that. Well, actually, we never really saw her put the batteries in the machine, so let's let's check. Okay, there are batteries in there. Just, just making sure. Did you put them in correctly, actually? Positive no, positive no. Yep, yep, looks okay. Alrighty. Probably beyond repair, then, really. You know, you could beat someone to death with it. You know what? Whatever. Couldn't figure it out, huh? It's a worthless effort, anyway. Alright, Doug, let's go outside. Nice socks. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Yep. Let's have a look around. Okay. Hey, this game did not freeze. Yay. Jesus. Oh boy, yummy. 
just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted now, out. Now, one thing I don't like about zombie games is... So you see, too. the zombies... They are still human, right? So they still need to, you know, maintain homeostasis. Eat, drink, not, you know, be too cold or too warm. So after a few days, these zombies would all die. From, you know, just wandering around. They clearly don't have any interest in getting food or water. Well, food, yes, but not water. And they don't sleep either, so that's going to damage them too. So, I mean, eventually they would all die of exposure or exhaustion or starvation or thirst. So just give it a week or two and the problem would sort itself out. But no. But no. Anyway, let's have a look around. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I don't see how these zombies are a threat. Look how slowly they're just walking around. Like, seriously, you could open this gate and just waltz across the street, and you'd be fine. You just have a, you know, a, a brisk walk can escape the zombies. That place is full of TVs and electronics. I can't reach that brick. Why is there, why is there a brick right there? That's convenient. Job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Well, the window's not broken. Looks like it worked to me. Look at the one trapped over there. Why? He looks that familiar. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. Yeah, so he definitely he is. Might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doug. I do like Doug's, uh... Get the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. I do like how he... It would take a lot of effort. He's very observant. Go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. And he says things like I'll they see are. What I can find. Bit of a pragmatic man, I like that. But Carly is good with a gun. But guns won't last forever, and ammunition obviously is no longer being produced, so being good with guns will only serve you well so far. So really. So far, it's looking like I like Doug better than I like Carly, but... Eh. We shall see. Let's see here. What do we do? What do we do? Can I flick on all those TVs with my remote? Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Magical MacGuffin activate. Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Yes. I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Because he's magical. Technology is magic. It can do anything you want well it to do. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? My story. Uh, everyone. But not enough. Honey Boo Boo is on. Uh, Dark Dynasty.